Today is January the 3rd, 2016, and um, I found this real interesting story, and it talks about the Bundy family being back involved in Oregon in a type of uh, occupier. And of course, you can see on the picture that I posted on my blog page, they're talking about being heavily armed. The reason I'm focusing on this one is because, yes, this is a big deal. And that's a question mark beside it because we don't know what's going to happen. But I feel that the light of truth somehow, some way, is going to show that the, the Bureau of Land Management has been abusing their power for years and years. And these people are really ticked off. So when you go to BuddyHuggins.com, you will see this blog and you can uh, read the article I got here and listen to this video. I'll play just a piece of it. About what's going on in Harney County, um, there's been leaders of uh, different militia groups, different organizations that have called for a stand down. Um, and I am wanting to talk to the individual, to the patriot, but this is not a time to stand down. Well, that's all I'm going to play. You can go to the website and, and hit that link and you'll see that. So whether it's a big story or not, I don't know. But I'm just showing you people um, how I pick the things that I pick to post on the, uh, the BuddyHuggins.com, the Buddha from Mississippi blog page, we call it. So... As we do more looking into this Hand Hamdom Ranch standoff, is it just BS? And Monograph, this is his video, and this is the link to his video, and it's worth listening to. I mean, I'm showing you people behind the scenes on how does Buddy Huggins post for the Buddy Huggins, you know, dot com blog page. And a lot of times I have to be really careful about putting out two versions of the same story. But this time is actually a time to be weary of everything that we're going to see and hear about this. And so you have to keep your mind open. You have to think for yourself and you have to see sometimes these stories have two ways of seeing them. And so stay tuned um, I'm fixing it's right here it's 12 o'clock I'm fixing to go to the gym I've got to do some things prep work before I actually swim it's isometric type exercises um, I'll show you what I'm doing as, as as I do it but um okay and then when I get back from doing the exercise we will like look over the big scheme of things, the big picture of things, and see what is the next story that I may or may not blog about. Well, I checked in with my body to see what my body said. And my body said, hold off on doing too much exercising until you do the swim. Because you might not even be able to get what you think you want to do on the swim done. So that's called listening to my body. I'm going up here to see if Laura is on the walking track. Let's look. Let me see the walking track. No, I do not see her. Yeah. 
recently pruned and growing back. I would say that's been pruned. And if you can see, let me get it where uh oh that light is in. Look at that. And growing back. Well I swam over two and a half miles and I did it hour the actual swimming time was an hour and a half and I, what I'm shooting for is a two hour sustainable okay. swim you know taking taking a break every half mile about for a minute well it's another day beautiful Ozark Ozark, Missouri, beautiful weather. <laughs> well, it's at the end of the day, and um, as you can see, the top news story is about what I posted about earlier. And um, well, we're just gonna have to wait and see what's gonna happen. What I'm doing is uh, trying to finish editing my blog. So I'm gonna wrap it up by saying that I'll do uh, some looking into this um, Bundy Hammond Takeover Ranch. Whatever is going on, we need to kind of really think about looking at it and uh, either it'll go away with our attention on it or it's gonna do what its purpose is set to do. So check back tomorrow and you will see more about that story and something else that I'll find to post tomorrow. Thank you for watching and um, please subscribe. If you're a new viewer, it really helps if you subscribe. Appreciate it.